Okay, so I've been really wanting a diamond mule deer, and I've not. I've gotten a true rex one, but I would really like another one for my lodge. And so I'm going to hunt some mule deer today. I'll probably travel around multiplayer and single player. But uh, real quick, I'll show you probably my favorite spot for mule deer in the game. Uh, I'm in my single player. You come back. In this cove, I'll show you where it is on the map. During their rest time, and they'll actually just run right in front of you here. Like that. <laughs> um, and then they'll go up that hill, so you can actually... Oh, I didn't even see that one flee out of here. I guess some of them have already spooked out. But, uh... Nothing really big there yet. But, uh, you can really easily spot everything. You just kind of run back here. And they will come, like, right along this and up that hill. Sometimes they'll come along here instead. And there should be more further back here. If they've not already gone up. And they have not. That's actually a pretty decent four. I'd like to get him. Um, we got some more mule deer coming out of here. There we go. There's the... Big numbers that I usually see. I would like to get that four though, wherever he went. But uh, I'll show you where this is real quick. This is over here, Casita de Cristal. Uh, on the right side of the map, you got this lake, and it's this cove back here. So I like to run around along the right side of the lake and come back here. Um, we'll see if this four actually ends up running up the hill, like it should. Or if it already has, oh, it might have already, oh, yep, he's right there. So I'll pull out the M1 and see if I can actually get him down real quick. Um, if he gives us a shot, I'd not take that while he's looking away. Now I don't have him spotted, which is not good. Oh, oh. he's broadside, oh, got hit by deer there. Uh, that actually worked a lot better than I thought that would <laughs> with that shot so that was a hard shot on the trot not too bad but uh, you can see the absolute number of mule deer that are back here and uh, so I'll pick this guy up real quick and I'll show the score and then we will uh, continue hunting mule deer okay so here he is right here nothing crazy special 260 a pretty good gold I didn't even realize that it was a rare I mean, not rare, a gray. My bad. Um, it's a gray. Rare type hit him right in the heart. Uh, nothing too special, though, so we'll move on. Alright, so I'm actually going back to my spot back here to see if I can uh, get some mule deer. And over there, it's actually a level 9 puma. Uh, judging by the score estimate, it's actually not... Probably not going to be a diamond, but it is pro possible. Uh, so, once it lifts its head, I think I'll take it with the M1 right at 300. And that will do it. So yeah, I'm going uh, to run around the lake real quick. And I'll stop back here and see if anything, and uh, we'll pick him up. Well, that is just an example of how many deer are actually back here. Um... Uh, right there uh, this is the same server as the puma but uh... there's a reason why i think this is the best spot in the game this is absolutely crazy amounts nothing good nothing worth taking but crazy okay our puma is just right up here right in front of us and uh... like i said i don't think he will make diamond but should be a pretty good one. He actually does make diamond right on the dot. Wow. Uh, surprised I actually hit hard there. I was just going for the lungs. Uh, it is also dark red. Sean with his eyes closed. Didn't even know that. Dark red. Diamond Puma. I'm actually really happy with that. Uh, that is a great find. Uh, to get while you're hunting for mule deer. And so... That's just another benefit of hunting them in the early morning. Um, Pumas drink at the same time. So as you're running around the lake, uh, potentially you could find something like this as well. 
Uh, very happy with that. And uh, we'll move on. Alrighty, so um, I'm out here on Silver Ridge Peaks, and I was hunting their feed zones. I actually have this tent right here set up for uh, elk, because they spawn over there. And if I spawn at the outpost, then you actually... Uh, don't get the elk to spawn because they're actually too close to it. So I sent up a tent across. However, over here, right there, I actually have a melanistic buck. Um, it is just a three. Not very big. And it's moving a little bit. Almost like it's alert. But actually it just gave us a lot better angle. So I've got the M1 and we can just take this right across the lake. And that must be a hard shot. That's pretty good. Um, first melanistic buck I've ever seen. I've hunted quite a bit of mule deer. So that's pretty cool. Um, it's not a giant one. I don't think it'll make gold by any stretch. But uh, it's a melanistic. It looks really cool. And uh, I'm very excited to actually pick this up. Uh, this is down bottom right map down by uh let's see what's this outpost wild turkey outpost uh quite a good spot actually there's actually a bunch of bison feeding right down there but uh, we'll just go pick up our buck and we'll just leave that one okay so our buck is just right up here right on the other side of the street you can see it's outlined right through the bush and uh we'll just check it out a little bit definitely is melanistic uh, no doubt in my mind, but, uh, this is an interesting rack. I wish the, uh, points up top, like, weren't as long, but, uh, I will take a picture of this real, real quick. I think it actually looks really cool. I'd like to get a bigger one eventually, but, melanistic deer, yeah, we did get it right in the heart with the M1. Uh, quite a bit away from gold, but actually not as far as I thought. Uh, yeah, I just wish that these antlers, like, weren't as tall, and, uh, it wouldn't be a bad rack, but definitely we'll throw this in the lodge, and we'll move on. Okay, so, I found another piebald doe out here. Uh, just a doe. I don't think I will taxidermize it, but I'll definitely take it down. This be my third, uh, why, I mean, uh, mule deer piebald doe recently so uh take it right there with the muzzleloader and that is dead <laughs> so yeah um still haven't got anything too big uh for the mule deer yet but another rare so i will take it out and muzzleloader makes quick work of the mule deer and you know i'll taxidermize it Maybe eventually I can use it somewhere. But uh, nothing crazy. So we'll move on. Okay, so unless I find something back here on this last run that is worth taking, I think this will be the end of the video. Uh, hunted quite a bit, but I have not actually found my mule deer that I'm looking for. Um, just a few level threes and a four back here. I have gotten a lot of um, legacy uh, diamond mule deer back here. I think I've gotten four, I believe. But uh, uh, it seems that the true rack mule deer just aren't as uh, uh, abundant. Definitely a lot harder to find. And we're getting charged by a buffalo. So with that, this will be the end of the video. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed, and we'll see you in the next video.